As the world grapples with the coronavirus pandemic, Gulf countries are now taking stricter measures to deal with the surge of new infections. Saudi Arabia has indefinitely extended its curfew as the number of confirmed cases continues to rise. The capital, Riyadh, and other big cities have been put under a 24-hour curfew. For other cities of the country, the nationwide curfew runs from 3 p.m. to 6 a.m. and residents will only be allowed to go out for essential needs. Anyone seen violating the rules will face fines and even jail time. Saudi has recorded more than 4,462 cases and 59 deaths. This is the highest among the Six Nation Gulf Cooperation Council. According to predictions, the numbers of cases could even reach 200,000 in the coming weeks. Saudi Arabia has also halted all international passenger flights, suspended the year-round Umrah pilgrimage and closed most public places. Meanwhile, the United Arab Emirates, the region's tourism and business hub, recorded nearly 3,736 cases and 20 deaths. The UAE is now considering reviewing labor ties with countries who refuse to take their citizens back. The UAE will be considering strict quotas for work visas issued to nationals of these countries. The Gulf countries have seen a surge in the number of infections among the low-wage foreign workers who live in overcrowded accommodation. Now, millions of these laborers, mainly from Nepal, India and the Philippines, are among the region's large expatriate population. In Bahrain, 45 of 47 new cases reported were foreign migrant workers. Meanwhile, in the Indian ambassador to the UAE has said that the country cannot repatriate large numbers of nationals while trying to combat the virus at home. Pavan Kapoor has said, and I quote, Once the lockdown in India is lifted, we will certainly help them get back to their hometowns and their families. Now, Pakistan's ambassador also said that the embassy is waiting for permission from Islamabad for repatriation flights. But as the crisis continues, Gulf countries are taking measures to contain the spread among foreign workers. Qatar has locked down a large section of an industrial area. Dubai also sealed off two commercial districts and Oman closed off its Muscat governorates, which uh, includes the capital. Kuwait has even said that airlines could operate outbound flights to repatriate foreigners.